In our Voters Decide coverage now, we've gotten some emails from viewers who say they've received two presidential primary ballots in the mail. Yeah, so they want to make sure they're doing the right thing. And just because you have a second ballot, it doesn't mean you can vote twice. Faith Justice spoke with the county today. She joins us live from the ballot processing room. All right, Faith, why are people getting multiple ballots? Ryan, there are a couple of reasons there, but it boils down to the fact that your voter registration has been updated. Either you did it yourself through the Secretary of State's website, or maybe you visited the DMV recently and updated your personal information there. Either way, the county sent you an updated ballot to reflect that update to your personal information. If you do have two ballots, the county says you cannot cast both of them. You should use the most recent updated ballot to vote. You can shred the old one or turn it in at a voting center. The county wants to emphasize that everybody's vote counts and nobody gets to vote twice. Anytime that a new ballot is um, initiated, the old ballot is deactivated, so we can really only receive one good ballot. And everybody's voter ID is unique to them, and so it is impossible to send both ballots in and have them both counted. So what happens if you do have two ballots and you cast both of them? Well, election workers will set aside the second ballot and report it to the Secretary of State's office. Depending on the circumstances, you could face consequences. Now, we also hear common questions about what happens to damaged ballots and election security procedures. We have both of those angles to the story coming up at 5 o'clock. Covering the story live, Faith Justice, 2 News Nevada.